What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey, everybody, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes Today, and we are celebrating yet another Toby Tuesday. Leading up to Spider Man No Way Home, I'm going back and reviewing all of the old Lego Spider Man sets, so check out those reviews if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. The subject of today's video is set 4850 Spider Man's First Chase from the year 2003. The first Spider-Man movie came out in 2002, and we got two sets from that, but check this out. The following year, in 2003, they went back and actually made a handful of extra sets. Now, this set, 1374, was just a repackage of the original Green Goblin set, but that being said, I've actually never seen it in that blue box. If anybody has ever seen one physically, I'd love to see a picture of it. Here we have 4851, which of course is The Origins, a really awesome set with Spider-Man and Green Goblin's Origins. I'll be reviewing that soon. And then I've already reviewed this one. This is the final showdown, the bridge battle. So some really cool sets all in all. And it, speaking of cool sets, this one was pretty awesome as well. It depicts Spider-Man's chase of Uncle Ben's killer from the first Spider-Man movie, and this set packed a lot of punch. It was $20 back in 2003, and it was on store shelves from October 2003 through June of 2004. And if you're a big Spider-Man fan like me, be sure to check out my music video, The Girl Next Door. It was written about the old Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and filmed in all the places that they actually filmed the movies in real life. And yes, I actually did this scene. Check it out. <laughs> Part of my goal here on YouTube is to be like an archive of sorts for LEGO superheroes, so I want to talk about every set and everything, so since this set is almost 20 years old and I do have the box, I thought it'd be cool to talk about it for a few seconds. So, all of the old Spider-Man movie merchandise used to say official movie merchandise. I don't really know why they did that, but they did. I love that it had a real Spider-Man on there. Now all the sets have like a Lego version for the most part, but sometimes like we're seeing the actors on the boxes now. But anyways, I always love this branding here with the green goblin and the reflection of his eye. It showed us the three minifigures we got here. And then all of the old Lego sets used to show us alternate builds that we could do. Now, because this is a vehicle-based set, it only makes sense that what we see here is very vehicle-based. But I think this is cool, kind of like a little Spider-Man layer, maybe, or something like that. Of course, just more vehicles there. And this is kind of cool with a jump and everything. I just love that creativity, and I kind of wish Lego would still do that, but I understand why they don't. Anyways, let's move on with more set review goodness. So, of course, every review includes the minifigures, and the first one we'll look at here is Uncle Ben's Killer. Now, you'll notice that compared to modern LEGO Marvel figures, he's got yellow skin. That's because the tan skin, or flesh tone colored skin, did not debut for Spider-Man until the following year, 2004, with the Spider-Man 2 sets. With that being said, this is actually a pretty decent figure of the guy from the film. I always wished he had kind of like white or blonde spiky hair instead, but that's the beautiful thing about LEGO. That's a pretty easy fix to do. I love this torso, too. I think it's aged pretty well, honestly. The set also comes with a generic cop. Now, this probably came in some city sets or world city from around the same time, but I do like the look of the face. It's very unique to this era of Lego, and the torso is pretty good, too. Hard to complain. And definitely the most interesting figure in the set is Wrestler Spider-Man. He was exclusive to this set, although there was also supposed to be a wrestling scene set that included him that was never actually released. More on that another time, though. This figure is really awesome. I love the torso. Of course, it's kind of got that, like, faded look to it. I think it looks a lot better in person than it does on video. It just doesn't capture quite right, but it is very cool. And the head with the balaclava mask on, that came on several of the Ferrari pit stop workers from the Lego Racers theme back in the day. So the only exclusive thing is the torso, but man, it looks so fantastic almost 20 years later. Now, as for the set itself, there's really not too much here. I do like this little addition of the street scenery here. We've got a little garbage can. We've got a very cool little fire hydrant. I remember loving building that as a kid, and then, of course, again recently. The black cat piece is cool, and I always wondered if that was a reference to black cat from the comics. Hard to say, but we also have a one-way sticker piece here and an East 40th Street sticker with a little... Uh, lamp post there and yeah really cool so that's kind of the first bit of scenery i'll talk about this one last let's talk about the vehicles next we've got a police car here pretty solid build nothing to write home about but we do have a sticker on the front and the back 
I do love the chrome piece up front. That's very cool. We've got sirens. You can, of course, lift it up and you can see a minifigure inside. I really like what they did here with this one by four uh, kind of like sloped piece. I thought that looked cool. And I guess we do have more stickers on the side here. There's two police stickers and the 4850 sticker, which, of course, this set is set number 4850. So that's just a cool little in-universe reference, if you will. The cooler of the two vehicles is the Delta 88 Oldsmobile. Now, this is the car that Uncle Ben's killer has in the film, but it's actually Uncle Ben's car that, remember, he hijacks it from him. Just some cool movie trivia is this car actually belongs to the director, Sam Raimi, who directed the first three Spider-Man movies, and he includes it in all his movies as a little Easter egg. The story goes that it was his dad's car, and his dad lent it to him for his first uh, major film, and he's put it in every film since. It's a little tribute to that, so that's very cool. Then the last thing that there is to talk about the set is the little gate here. Now, something very interesting, just for history purposes, if you will, is this Keep Out sticker. The sticker actually goes over top of several pieces, which is something LEGO would never do today. They would give us, like, one big piece or make it smaller, but can you see... There's this little piece here with the little arms on each side. There's a one by four behind there, and then a one by six here, and the sticker overlays all of those. So definitely a big no-no by today's LEGO standards, but we've got a little radioactive spider here, another street light, got another trash can, and a web for Spider-Man to swing off of. And the play feature, of course, is that the gate kind of locks from the back. So see this little uh, piece down here. You need to push that up to unlock the gate and then it'll open and the idea is that Uncle Ben's killer can drive the car through there and be just like that. So there's not too much to say about the set itself. Definitely the highlight of the set is that Spider-Man wrestler minifigure, but I do remember having this as a kid. I love it today. I loved it then and I love talking about it here with you guys. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because I post just about every day and the Spider-Man content will not be slowing down. I love this channel. I love you guys being a part of my community. Thanks for checking out today's video and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for checking out today's video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below to become a member of the Mini Superheroes Today community. And hey, while you're here, maybe check out one of my other videos listed down below. Thanks for your support, and I'll catch you guys soon.